We're down in the animal hospital at the nutrition center with Barbara Henry, who's the zoo's nutritionist, talking about milk. Because I know over the past year or so, we became famous for milking a Nile hippopotamus. That's kind of wild. So why do we need to milk some animals? Well, it helps to give a better picture so that over time, if there are changes in lactation and you aren't lucky enough to have an animal be reared by mom, you have a better picture of what, how to replicate mom's milk. So they can't just drink vitamin D milk out of the refrigerator like we do? Correct. Some animals, yes, we can offer cow's milk or even goat's milk, but you really want to mimic the constituents within the milk. So you're looking at protein, you're looking at sugar, you're looking at fat, you're looking at you know, how much water is in the milk of, from mom and so that you can replicate that with some artificial products and maybe they need a goat milk base or maybe they need, you know, a base that we would feed to a dog milk replacer or a horse milk replacer. So we, we put those together with the types of species that we're looking for. And I imagine if you don't get it right, they could either lose weight or get dehydrated, all kinds of problems. So, but tell us about Winsoul. Now, Winsoul's the most famous art bark in the world, right? He's being raised by his mom, Allie, right. who's great. So he's nursing, but you're still collecting milk? Right. We have the opportunity because they have, the keepers have a great relationship with Allie that we could take small samples and send those off to the Smithsonian's Milk Repository for analysis. And they don't need a very large sample, and so we're really not taking away that much mm -hmm. from Winsel. And as he grows, he's going to be introduced, and that's what they're doing now, to what Allie eats anyway. And so he will be nursing less, mm -hmm. but it still gives us the clear picture over time what is in Allie's milk. Now, the zoo has hundreds of animals. How do you, you know, get breast milk out of an aardvark, for instance? Well, it's just like milking any okay. any animal. Like when you, you learn just, a lot when you're hand. on the farm. Okay. Yeah, you learn right. by hand. Okay. Now, I guess in some farm situations, you may be able to use things like you would with a dairy cow, et cetera. But with us, it's just usually yeah. hand milking because it's such a small sample. Sure. Um, and we really only do it once a week so that we can have a picture over time yeah. and send that small sample out to Washington, D.C. It's amazing. It's more complicated than we thought. And in the case of an aardvark, it's important that there are not that many baby aardvarks reared in zoos. Correct. They had a sample um, in the repository from 1992 that was from one single female at the Philadelphia Zoo. Um, there is one published paper from 1985, but in that paper, they didn't, um, they weren't able to test the sugar portion of the milk, so it wasn't giving you a full analysis mm -hmm. and a clear picture. Yeah. So we're able to help and assist that. And if it's just an end of one, then you're like, was that just that particular right. animal? If they can get more samples, then they can show that variation, which is very important when you're trying to rear an animal. And I imagine it's valuable that the keepers have a close relationship with these animals because right. an aardvark's a strong animal. If she doesn't want to be nursed or milked, you're going to be chasing her and riding her around. Correct. And so <laughs> they don't want to do that. This yeah. is something that is not harmful to mom. Um, she really probably doesn't even really know because yeah. Winslow has done very well. Um, you know, he's growing, yeah. he's getting big. Obviously, he's not the size of mom, but animals take a lot longer sure. usually to, to get to the size yeah. of an adult in some species. Well, Barbara, thanks. This was fun. Clearly, there's more that goes on at the zoo than you might see when you just come to visit, including making sure all the animals are fed and healthy.